Hello friends, welcome to this Rocky Linux 9 training series. This is first lecture on Rocky 9. Rocky is a replacement for CentOS 9. Actually CentOS was discontinued in December 2020. First release came in April 2021 and now we see that a planned end of life for this Rocky 9 is May 30, 2032. Therefore, this is the most stable, best release as of uh, today for next 10 years. So we are going to discuss how to download and install this uh, Rocky Linux on uh, Oracle VirtualBox. Right now, the download is started. I simply visited rockylinux.org slash download and I clicked on DVD. My d DVD download is going on. Once the download is co complete, uh, then I'll demonstrate how to install it on Oracle VirtualBox. You can see the download is about to complete. So let's create a machine in the meanwhile. So this is my Oracle VM VirtualBox. The current version which I'm using is VirtualBox 7 as of November 2022. 7.0.0 and I'm going to create a machine for Rocky now. So to create a new machine click on new Rocky 9 I am giving the name of the machine and uh, where it is to be stored in D drive ISO image I am going to select the image which I downloaded so I am sure that the download is complete and I can see that here yeah it is there so select the image then next username you can configure the unattended guest OS installation by modifying username password and host name no I don't want to I want to install myself guest add-on definitely I want to install guest additions which is coming from this install in the background no I don't want to install in the background and then next so I want to give a 4 GB RAM to this machine maybe for the 5 because I have 16 GB so I can safely give more than six, uh, this and I want to allocate uh, two CPUs to this machine then create virtual hard disk 20 GB I want to give it more 40 GB is what I want to give then next and finish the machine is created let's check some settings of the machine network second adapter I want to assign that adapter is host only adapter which will allow my machine to be accessible from outside that is the host machine serial port I don't want to allocate uh, you know enable USB I don't want to enable <coughs> audio no requirement for this virtual machine and system I don't want any floppy drive so let me disable it because no floppy drive requirement so hard disk and uh, optical disk these are the two disk I require that's a good uh, option advanced description I can specify Rocky 9 review by Ram and Sangwan so obviously I have to give for uh, support Call me at plus nine one nine three one two four zero six nine two zero or WhatsApp. And that's a good option right now. Even if you are international student or you are from calling from anywhere else outside India, you can use this number to call me on WhatsApp. Same number. So let's start and try to check. The so machine is started. Yes, a test. Uh, we always recommend that first time, at least when you download the uh, image for the first time and try, you must test the ISO image. It's always recommended. After uh, first attempt, after first installation, uh, not required, but first attempt you must try. You must verify the integrity of the ISO. That's always recommended. So after the test is complete, the download start, uh, installation started. Here we go. This is our first time installation of Rocky Linux 9 why this English Hindi uh, language is Hindi I want to select English so let me select English that makes sense to me now United States perfectly fine click on continue more or less same uh, interface for example installation source is local media perfect server with GUI is default selection you want to install these packages you can select FTP server and all that obviously I want to install some 
basic compatibility legacy compatibility libraries because of my requirement for and development tools dotnet definitely i want because i am planning to develop dotnet application so dotnet tools and desktop applications graphical administration tools and rpm package development obviously i would be going for it as well so you can select the packages what you want so different categories are there from different categories you can select the packages what you want to install custom operating system packages there are different categories so you can select the packages of your choice standard installation guest editions virtualization host i think that's enough for me as of now and then select the root password so giving the password since it's a weak password i know it so i have to click on done twice to allow weak password installation destination i need to select the disk once so you have to go to the disk and select twice click on twice and then the disk will be selected and begin the installation now the installation is complete let's uh, reboot the system so i'm sure the reboot will be quite fast because i have uh, 5 gb nearly 5 gb of ram and moreover uh, boot time has been drastically improved by means of parallel process startup because system d has a capability of starting multiple units parallelly press escape key to check what's going on at the back end escape again to see the graphical interface cool so login name is root it has displayed me the command line interface i was expecting gui let me see what is installed and probably the desktop or the gui version is not installed so let me check dnf group list and if it is not installed i'm going to install it so these are the groups let's ping any website here yeah, it is working fine so i want to install this server with gui or graphical administration tools and what i want to install is the workstation workstation will give me the gui so dnf group install and workstation along with workstation i want to install other group also the server with gui or graphical administration tools let me check server with gui server with gui so install this uh, once these packages are installed i'll have my you can see gnome and everything will be installed so once it is installed my server will be ready with the graphical interface alt control f2 will give me another option to check my uh, to launch another console virtual terminal so next thing i want to check is the host name this is my going to be my host name server.example.com and let me check my etc hosts i want to make an entry for this system 10.10.0.100 .10 this is the ip address i am going to configure server server.example.com so what is the status of our installation let's see how oh, it is asking after the download is complete it is asking for the confirmation because i never specified hyphen y so let the installation complete system ctl set default graphical dot target and let's reboot so my target is now set to graphical installed all the graphical tools and chrome desktop cool nice look so first look it seems to be good good desktop setup rocky wow now we see same setup same concept first time login ask you to create a new user start using rocky linux so that's the first gui interface no thanks i don't want to explore anything i am very comfortable and i can see the same kind of environment so first of all what i need to do is i need to install some graphical tools or the to make it full screen so that's going to be a challenge let's do this so let's insert the guest dvd yes run the dvd so it is building and uh, hopefully it should not fail and reason being uh, i already installed uh, development tools if you recollect kernel developments and uh, rpm development tools i installed i selected those packages during installation and that will help me most likely it will uh, run smoothly and success it should be successful after that i'm going to reboot the machine once again 
wonderful it's done so that means now i should be able to switch to full screen yes cool so this full screen is possible because i installed guest additions so i can open my terminal and install some more packages su hyphen as root user i want to install some packages so this is my first installation of rocky linux 9 and it appears good to me it uh, interface is good uh, let's see the features so what all packages are installed if you go and check the packages list here so you can see the setup and the packages setting system monitor utilities uh, more or less same set of packages yeah true cool so that's all for this uh, first how to install rocky 9 on oracle virtual box and how to install guest additions on rocky 9 in next session we'll look at the features of rocky 9 thank you so much for watching bye bye